Representative Mike Shaw, and I represent House District 102, which includes most of Standish. I'm the proud sponsor of LD 156, which would give Maine voters an opportunity to amend the Constitution to authorize the legislature to establish a statewide system of early voting. While many believe that Maine already has a system of early voting, what we actually have is an in-person absentee voting system. Unlike true early voting, in which votes would be cast immediately, absentee ballots are held aside to be cast by the town clerk on election day. Because many people find it difficult to vote when voting is limited to one day, the number of Mainers casting absentee ballots has skyrocketed. In some towns, absentee ballots make up 60% of all ballots cast. The high number of absentee ballots in recent elections has put a great strain on our clerks who already face the pressure of being ready for a large number of people who will vote on election day. I'm sponsoring LD 156 because I believe the answer to this problem must not be one that limits people's ability to vote. Instead, we must seek out a solution that will both alleviate the burden on our elected officials while encouraging as many qualified manners to vote as possible. I believe early voting is just the solution we need. It will allow greater access to the polls for voters. And votes cast will be counted instantly, relieving clerks of the task of either feeding them all into a voting machine or counting them by hand on election day. Early voting has been tested in pilot programs across Maine with great success. First in Portland, Bangor, and Reefield in 2007. Later in Augusta, Bangor, Cumberland, Falmouth, Gorham, Hollowell, Saco, and Scarborough, and my own hometown of Standish in 2009. In those towns, voters welcomed the expanded access to the ballot, and elections officials expressed appreciation for the relief early voting brought from processing ever-increasing numbers of absentee ballots on election day. Mainers take great pride in voting, and it should be our goal as legislators to make the process as painless as possible. I believe this proposal for early voting can only have good effects on voting in the state of Maine. Thank you. Thank you, Representative Shaw. It is such a great pleasure uh, to be here today. My name is Shenna Bellows. I'm Executive Director of the ACLU of Maine. We're a statewide nonprofit organization dedicated to the defense of the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. Voting is the cornerstone of our democracy. Voting gives meaning to Abraham Lincoln's famous phrase, of the people, by the people, and for the people. The power to vote is our ultimate safeguard against corruption and abuse of power by those in government. And we think it's critically important that the legislature seek ways to expand voter participation, eliminate barriers, and make it easier so that our elections reflect the will of the citizenry rather than the power of the few. The resolution to allow early voting simply amends the Constitution to allow the legislature to create a process for early voting. And this bill would send to the people a referendum question asking, would you like the legislature to enact a process to allow early voting? It's simple, it's clear. Many people in Maine believe we already have early voting, and indeed our no-fault system of in-person absentee voting is known publicly as early voting. Mainers have enthusiastically adopted in-person absentee voting in large numbers across the state, demonstrating broad support for the principle of early voting. However, true early voting would allow voters to cast their ballot immediately, rather than going through the process of putting it in an envelope that is signed and left unopened until election day when the vote is cast by the clerk. True early voting would make the process more direct for the voter and greatly ease the administrative burden of absentee voting on clerks across the street. True early voting would reduce the strain on election systems created by the casting of ballots on a single day. And the benefits are significant. For some people, voting on election day is very difficult because of work obligations or childcare obligations. Early voting would benefit those hardworking Mainers some who are working two or three jobs to make ends meet, those who travel frequently out of state for business, those who have children, and those with limited mobility, like people with disabilities and seniors. Early voting would protect the franchise for people with disabilities, our seniors, and working Mainers all across the state. 
Early voting will expand access to the voting process and ensure greater representation in our democracy. And that's why we're proud to stand here with Representative Shaw, clerks from Falmouth and Standish, uh, groups like the League of Women Voters and League of Young Voters, and a broad coalition in support of early voting. Thank you. Uh, good morning, good afternoon. My name is Ann Luther. I'm with the League of Women Voters of Maine, and we also support the resolution to create a constitutional amendment in favor of early voting. The League of Women Voters believes that voting is a fundamental right of citizenship, and we have been working for more than 90 years since women were granted the vote to defend and protect that right. We support measures that pro we also support measures that provide for the smooth conduct of elections that improve the professional administration of the election process and that ensure our elections in Maine are free from operational errors. It's time for early voting to come to Maine. Early voting reduces congestion on election day. It helps eliminate long lines at the polls. It reduces pressure on election officials. It provides an important convenience to many, many voters and it contributes to a more secure and orderly process for the conduct of elections in Maine. Because the processing of absentee ballots in Maine is <coughs> labor intensive for towns and election officials, and because the percentage of ballots cast by absentee has grown over the years to almost 60% of total ballots in some municipalities, this process is a stress point for local election officials. True early voting probably offers a more secure, orderly process for the conduct of elections and for this reason, the League of Women Voters supports a constitutional amendment to provide early voting in Maine. Thank you. My name is John Atwood. <coughs> I uh, live in Newcastle, and uh, I had the privilege of being the chairman of the 2012 Elections uh, Commission, which issued its uh, report uh, to the Secretary of State to the legislature several weeks ago. Uh, in our report, we endorse uh, early voting, and I was very pleased uh, to uh, uh, see a Representative Shaw's bill, which uh, does just that, namely uh, seeks to amend our state constitution uh, so that uh, our statewide elections can be uh, conducted uh, on days earlier than Election Day, just as though it were Election Day. Uh, in, in our view, uh, uh, should the voters approve this resolution, and I, I believe they will, uh, the uh, turnout uh, for elections is, is bound to increase. Uh, the convenience for voters uh, is bound to be uh, improved. Uh, and the, uh, the confidence that uh, Maine people have traditionally had in their voting system uh, will undoubtedly uh, be uh, well met. Um, this is not a, a panacea. We are aware that uh, early voting is going to present some challenges to uh, some municipalities, particularly the smaller towns in Maine. Uh, but on balance, uh, we believe that uh, the benefits of uh, the early voting system in Maine greatly outweigh uh, the difficulties that uh, we will need to address. And in that regard, I'm very confident, uh, given uh, the uh, support of uh, folks like Representative Shaw and others, uh, that uh, these challenges uh, can and will be met by legislation which will follow uh, the uh, approval of this resolution by the voters. Uh, so uh, thank you for being here today and thank you Representative Shaw for inviting me to participate. Thank you. Um, at this time we'll take questions. Yeah, how come, the, the main argument I can see against this that someone would make is we have absentee voting. Um, and so, once again, can you kind of break down why absentee voting is not adequate enough and that early voting needs to be implemented throughout the country, say? One of the problems uh, that the municipal officials have with the whole process of early absentee voting is the fact that the voter will come in, uh, there'll be some paperwork to do, they will obtain their ballot, a lot of municipalities set up the voting booths, person will go and vote, and then at the end they'll go, the municipality will have to do more paperwork, the voter will fold the ballot and place it in an envelope, which they have to sign on the outside of the envelope. That envelope would be stored until election day, when the municipal officials running the election open up all of those envelopes, and in some cases, such as Portland, 
they have 13,000 envelopes to open. When they do that, the ballot is folded, the ballot machines have trouble running those ballots. This process of early voting would eliminate all of that. The person would come in, request the ballot, they'd be checked off just like they would on election day. They'd fill out the ballot at the ballot box at the voting booth, and then they would physically put the ballot through the voting machine or into the ballot box if the municipality doesn't have a voting machine. So it's a substantially different process. It eliminates a lot of paperwork, streamlines the process, and in effect makes it more secure than the absentee voting process. And just out of curiosity, what happens to those numbers? Because I mean, they can't be released. Um, so what? What? How does that get stored? Because I think right now people say, well, my vote. If I do absentee ballot, you know, it's going to be counted for. Um, but for politicians who might be weary, what? How? can we make sure that those votes won't be seen? The ballot machines will not be allowed to be run. The ballot machine, you, you'll, the election officials will remove the ballots, store them in the boxes that they currently store uh, ballots in anyways. They're very secured. They're, they have a, a tag and a lock. Uh, they can't be broken. Um, the uh, ballot machine will not be allowed to be run as far as the numbers that day other than just how many people voted. You would not get any results until election day. On election day, after the election is over, the election official would run the ballot machine at that point. So there'll be a very specific process. The numbers will match from the people that come in and get checked off that they voted. The ballot machine will tell them how many people voted that day. Those numbers will match. Uh, it will be a very secure process. And is there a timeline for how, when you want to see this happen? We're not proposing a timeline in the Constitution. Uh, that will be followed up with legislation for next session to make the specifics of early voting at that point. We want to keep the uh, Constitution as plain spoken as possible and as broad as possible to allow for us to, the legislature, to consider the legislation uh, next session after it's approved by the voters. So it will be in the ballot. Yep. Uh, should the resolution pass by two-thirds in the House and Senate, it will be sent to the voters on the November election. When do you expect the House and Senate to vote on it? Uh, the work session will probably be held in two weeks. Uh, it's a general timeline. Uh, it would come out to the House floor. Uh, it all depends on how many bills we have on our plate at that point. It's fairly early in the session, so it may come out fairly quick. Then it would move down to the Senate uh, and follow the regular legislative process. Any other questions? Are there other states that do early voting right now? There is. There's 32 other states, uh, according to the National Council of State, Council of State Legislatures, uh, that participate in early voting. And how far before election day would a voter be able to vote early? The bill before the legislature right now doesn't specify because we this is just amending the constitution to allow for it so the committee of jurisdiction and i'll be involved in the specific legislation will get to decide uh, in, in statute as opposed to in the constitution how many days in advance we will be able to vote in person early and this question might be for you judge atwood um, is this one of the uh after, I mean, you went around the state and spoke yeah. with thousands of people. So this is one of the... I've never seen you in Augusta. Yeah, yeah. 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 Augusta, yeah. Van Gogh, all over. Yeah. And this is one of the um, uh, solutions to some of the problems that voters have faced in past years? Uh, yes, it is. And, and in our report, uh, those who have the reports in Section 3 of the report, uh, we endorse uh, early voting. Uh, we feel that it, uh, as, as Representative Shaw has outlined, it, it resolves uh, a lot of problems. Uh, in, including um, those folks who uh, simply don't want to go to the polls on election day and deal with, with uh, the crowds. Now, granted, they can do that by absentee ballot, but there is there's some folks who, who uh, appreciate uh, the notion of actually voting in person uh, and putting their ballot into the tabulator or the, the ballot box. With early voting, they're going to uh, be, be able to do that uh, probably more conveniently and easily than uh, compressing in the compressed time that uh, one can do that on election day. I 
was just going to add, there was a test pilot of this program a couple of years ago. Nine municipalities across the state, including Standish, participated in early voting. And it was unanimous among the municipalities. There was unanimous support for the proposal. And there was also a lot of interest and enthusiasm by the voters who participated in the process. So while this bill is a constitutional amendment simply to allow early voting to be an option statewide and the details will be worked out in the future, it wouldn't replace in-person absentee voting, it wouldn't replace or, or get rid of absentee, but it's another option and an option that in a test pilot phase was very favorably received by clerks and voters alike. Any other questions? With that, I guess we'll close the... Uh... Press briefing.